afternoon, everyone. Well, guys, it's that time of year. The time of year where I have to get the safeties and the missions done on the old Kia. Anyways, they're gonna do that while Finn and I hang around, just walk around the parking lot. Maybe uh, daydream of getting some other cars. Well, not that one, that's an old one. <laughs> Actually, I'd be stoked with a truck. I've always wanted a truck, which is ironic because I have a sedan, so that doesn't really make sense. I feel like if you have a truck, you're just more adventurous, you know, you do more adventurous stuff, but then you're also that moving guy that always has to like help like neighbors and family move. Maybe I could get a Jeep though. Oh my gosh, a Jeep? Like a Jeep Wrangler. Like the kind they use in the new Drags Park movie when they're escaping from the pterodactyls. That's cool. That's a first. Anyway, but, oh my gosh, am I wearing Ruka hat and shirt? That's a fashion no-no. All right, we'll flip that around. That way, uh, no one really tells, you know? They see Ruka in the front, and then when I turn around, they see Ruka in the back, and at least they don't see me straight on and be like, oh, that kid look at himself when he dressed this morning, which I didn't. <laughs> Have a rock star here. I asked him beforehand if I could let him in and let him just walk around and play around, and they were totally fine with it. In fact, I think every single employee so far has come over and wanted to pet Finley. All right, you guys, so I just received word that the car is going to be taking a little bit longer, but that the safeties and emissions is going well, and it's gonna cost me about $200. Definitely a little bit more than I want to spend, but also they want to take more of my money. Apparently, the lights on the car aren't working, so they have to replace those, as well as the license plate light. I didn't even know there was one, but they're gonna to have to replace those as well. Anyways, to replace all those, it's an additional $200. Luckily, I don't mind waiting because the Kia dealership is literally right across the street from our house. So I decided to come back, drop off in. He has been feeling too hot so i decided to drop him off now i'm just honestly just chilling out and hanging out in the best comfy chair we got here anyways on a side note one positive thing is that we had this like remote start for the car that it was really nice that we could use during the winter time anyway we lost the remote for it so it doesn't really do as much good now but i talked to the guy there the technician guy and he was super nice and super helpful and told me that if i were to order part actually online and he gave me the part number anyways if i buy it online and bring it into a kia dealership that he'll go ahead and program it for me so that way it saves me a ton of money i think it saves me like an additional like 100 bucks or something like that so anyway that guy was super nice thank you by the way that was way nice of you man i'm gonna leave here in about five minutes to go get the car then i'm gonna go work out and then i think i might actually take feeling to the vet. I made an appointment, but I think I'm going to go have him checked out just because I'm, I'm a teeny bit worried just because he doesn't have as much energy and he seems to be scratching his ear a lot. I'll go into that more later when the time comes. <laughs> All right, you guys, I got the new decal. Here it is. I know I'm wearing different clothes and some of you may notice there's something around my neck here. No, it's not string licorice. I wish it was. <laughs> but I am actually going to the gym. Start placing your bets now, guys, because I don't know how long this is going to last. Actually, no. I take that back. I hope it lasts like a long time because I want to go to the gym more regularly or just in general. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm going to the gym today. Got all changed, looking good. Anyway, putting on the decal now. One trick I learned is that this is really dirty. So to bring out a little moist towelette and just rub it and clean that area. There you go, so it's nice and clean. Going to the gym now, wish I wasn't. Wish I was going to Krispy Kreme or something. <laughs> you know what, it's gonna be good for me though. I'm gonna just force myself to go for a week. I can take one week, I can do that. I'm gonna force myself to go for a week, see how I feel. I already know how I'm gonna feel, I'm gonna hate it. It's good for me to go, I need to, I need to drop some LBs if you know what I mean. You're one sandwich away from fat. There it is, the beautiful gym. Empire Walk, just kidding, I wish. No, no, that's it right there. Uh, now I just gotta find a parking spot. You know what's funny is that whenever I go to the gym, actually I think I've just noticed this about gym people in general, I think it's so funny that we go to the gym and then we try to find the closest parking spot as if it was gonna kill us to burn an extra calorie to park far away. Oh man. But luckily I got a close one. Things up, things up, things up. 
Alright guys, I just got back. Feels good to have gone to the gym, kinda. I'm gonna feel sore tomorrow, and so I'm gonna be like, yeah, I don't really glad I went. <laughs> I'm gonna try to go every single day. I think I can handle that. Wish me luck. Alright you guys, I just got showered and dressed. As you can tell, I like Ruka. I've been sporting it a lot pretty much all day. But I am also sporting the, this is how we've been in hat. If you guys don't have one, get one, they're awesome. I'm gonna go take Finley right now to the vet. He's not been feeling too hot, he's been scratching his ears a ton, and honestly, he hasn't had nearly as much energy as he had before, so I made an appointment with the vet. I'm gonna go there now just to see how he's doing. All right, you guys, we're gonna give you updates as time goes on, but it looks like that Finn has an earache. Oh, So he has been scratching his ear like crazy, this ear right here, and as you guys can see, it is really, really red. Look how his ear is really red. Look how red that is. Okay, so the nurse just came in, checked out Finn. She can tell that he has an obvious ear infection. It definitely stinks, but it makes me feel better that we came in because he is going to be taken care of and we can know why now he has been itching his ear like crazy, why he's been sniffing, why he's been coughing, why he's had lower energy. Anyway, so the doctor's going to come in. Hopefully we can get some type of prescription for Finley. That way he can start feeling better. And honestly, hopefully it's nothing too serious because we wouldn't want anything like that for our little Finley, huh? Huh, puppy? Also, since we've been waiting, I've been going through the camera and been noticing some old clips of Finley when he was a puppy. So I thought it'd be cool to share that with you guys now. That's it. Wait, wait. Wait. Okay, get it, get it, get it. Okay, so I just got back from the vet. Finley does have an earache, you guys. Not the best news, not the news you wanna hear. Luckily, there are prescriptions to give him. He actually gave me two injections that I'm supposed to kind of squirt inside of his ear. I know he's probably not gonna like that. The vet actually did it while we were there. He hated it. I'm supposed to do it every single day for a week on one of them, and then the other one, I'm supposed to do it every other day for a week. I don't think Finn's gonna love that too much, but it's definitely gonna help him out, so honestly, that's all that matters. So I'm gonna go get that right now, and then as you can see, I got my backpack on, which is my drone bag. You know me and drones. Anyways, I'm gonna go try to capture the sunset right now, get some drone footage of that, let you guys enjoy that. Also go grab Finley's prescriptions. Enjoy the sunset, you guys, we love you. And Brittany sends you guys her love too. She's working a little bit later tonight. But until next time, we'll see you later, guys. Bye, love you.